Turnbull Insurance Service, the first name in qualified personal service since 1866, presents Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. A special good morning to our new out-of-state viewers, and welcome to the Mohawk Valley. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. Today we are traveling all over the Mohawk Valley, including a trip to a micro green house and a trip to a speakeasy to celebrate the 80th anniversary of the end of Prohibition. So stay tuned. Today is a great day to connect with many of the artisans featured on the show at the Holiday House at the Rome Art and Community Center and at the Sequoit Valley Fine Art and Craft Show. And don't forget this Saturday, the Utica Uptown Downtown Open Studio Tour from 10 to 5, featuring over a dozen local artists. Special thanks to Turnbull Insurance Service and Mark and Jim Turnbull. Their continued support makes the show possible. It may be cold outside, but that doesn't slow down the guys at work at Tucci Hot Rods in Marcy, one of the top hot rod builders in the country for over 16 years. Dave Tucci specializes in sheet metal fabrication and customized designs, and is known throughout the world for his creativity and innovation. It began as a hobby. Uh, my father, you know, me growing up, my father being into cars, we worked on cars, you know, in our little garage we had at home, and then it just turned into you know, over the years, we started out as an appliance business. That's, you know, how we got working on stuff. But then over the years, the cars kind of took over. I'd rather wake up in the morning and work on cars than I would wash machines. So I'm not really a mechanic, but I like to build hot rods. And hot rods is anything that's, we consider like pre-72, 1972 cars that we can customize and make them more modern. You know, they were, they were good back then, but the technology has so far um, come so far from then. So now we'll take the new technology, put it into those older pre-72, anything even in the 30s, and make it, you know, drive and handle nice and stop and steer just like a new modern car. Somewhere around 97-98 uh, we opened a business, and in 99 we had an opportunity to put together a 1939 GMC pickup, which we completely redesigned the whole thing, shaped it, and made it pretty wild, uh, you know, big long fenders and chopped the roof. And once we finished that, we brought it to a couple of big major shows, which picked up magazines. We had three magazine shoots within the two shows we went to, which those three shots got on the cover of three consecutive magazines in three months in a row which was amazing. So with that one truck that we built, we kind of got known in the industry as building this high-end cars. So from there, we picked up a lot of business and customers. And even uh, Hot Wheels. And Hot Wheels. <laughs> Hot Wheels saw the, the truck and, and they, you know, they made a, a couple of models of it. So that was kind of neat. I love the area. I grew up here, I was born here, and there's no reason for me to move to LA where they think all these custom cars are built a lot of these custom cars are built all over the country. It doesn't really matter where you are. If you're building a quality product, people will come um, to wherever you're, you're based. Um, Marcy is, is a great place. I love living here. I, it's, I like the seasons, you know, I like the winters, I like all that stuff. So I, I don't foresee myself moving anywhere but in this, in this place, maybe even expanding, um, you know, in the area we're at. To see more of the amazing custom-built cars and trucks created by Tucci Hot Rods, visit TucciHotRods.com or find them on Facebook. sure to pick up the November issue of Mohawk Valley Living Magazine, featuring an article about local raised meat, the formation of Moss Island, 
the arts, history, and more. You go the extra mile for your small business and should expect the same from your insurance company. For over 140 years, Turnbull Insurance Service has been committed to local small business. For your commercial coverage, turn to the company ready to go that extra mile. Turn to Turnbull. Watch Mohawk Valley Living every Sunday on Fox 33 and UTR. And pick up the free Mohawk Valley Living magazine the first of each month. Available at many locations like these throughout the Mohawk Valley and at your closest Stewart shops. The Newport Marketplace is a new kind of Main Street with over 40 vendors of antiques, primitives, and country chic and handcrafted art, jewelry, and Amish baskets. New items arriving daily at the Newport Marketplace on Route 28, just 20 minutes from Utica, Little Falls, and the Valley. The people you know, the rock you love, and more songs per hour. 92.7 FM, The Drive, Central New York's locally owned independent rock station. All your holiday shopping needs are at Melrose Supermarket, featuring custom cut meats like hams, standing rib roasts, turkeys, and crown pork roasts, and party trays from deli and salads to breads and fruits, as well as local favorites like Riggies and Greens at Melrose Supermarket East Main Street in Frankfurt. Give your tongue a twist at the Black Cat Cafe. Great coffee, fabulous baked goods, and delicious breakfast, lunch, and afternoon teas. The cat's got your tongue. The Black Cat Cafe in Sharon Springs. Hi, Dr. Tom. Bringing your cat to the Paris Hill Cat Hospital on Sundays is a part of Mohawk Valley Living. Come inside and see why. Paris Hill Cat Hospital, this is Lindsay. How can I help you? Hello, Mrs. Cole. Your cat is losing weight and you need an appointment, and you're only available on weekends. Sure, I have an available appointment with Dr. Karen Sunday at 2 p.m. Does that fit into your schedule? Okay. We're open seven days a week because we know that your cat can become ill anytime. The Paris Hill Cat Hospital, quality care for your cats and kittens. Alpaca Gardens has the largest selection of the finest alpaca clothing and products in central New York. Alpaca is warmer than wool, softer than cashmere, and hypoallergenic. Choose from many styles of sweaters and all kinds of warm, comfortable socks. There's also a huge selection of alpaca yarn, roving, and felt, and is the perfect holiday shopping store for hats, mittens, rugs, ponchos, stuffed animals, handbags, and much more. Visit Paca Gardens. Open Monday through Saturday at 27 West Main Street in Little Falls. I'm gonna watch the sunset in the desert Be the prettiest I'll ever see when you enjoy fresh John Bosco House greens and microgreens at your favorite restaurant like the Willows in East Utica or shopping at Peter's Cornucopia, you might take them for granted. But these nutrient-packed greens are the result of the work and the care of the young men at the John Bosco House in Utica. Well, we began in uh, 2010. Um, we had an, an empty parish, closed parish, and we were always wondering what, what are we going to do with these empty buildings? And uh, uh, we got an inspiration, I think it was a gift from God, uh, that gave us an idea uh, to house homeless young men. We were presented with a need in the community. There wasn't a, an organization or, or a program that took care of homeless young guys 16 to 21 years old. Uh, typically, there'll be three or four in the house at, at a time. And it, we're a transitional residence that teaches life skills. The greenhouse was, uh, was a, an inspiration, again. Uh, a spiritual inspiration, we, we like to look at it that way, um, that, uh, that began about a year and a half ago on a trip down to South Carolina. We saw something similar there. And so we brought that idea back here and we began the program. Well, it took us about two or three weeks to get the program going and then we were growing microgreens. Okay, microgreens are baby vegetables that typically uh, grow, we grow them from seed in a container like this on organic soil and this will grow in about a week. Uh, and then we, when they get two to three inches high, we'll cut them off then and we'll put them, either package them or we'll sell them to, to the local restaurants like this and then they'll snip them off and put them on the, uh, as garnishes on the different dishes that they're, that they're making. So, uh, one of the local uh, markets here, Peter's Cornucopia, the health food market, uh, we were selling them microgreens already. Uh, he asked us if we could uh, grow lettuce for him because he was having a hard time finding a supplier year round. So we began doing that for him uh, about a year ago. And we started with our first hydroponic rack, which you saw over there. And uh, now we have uh, 2,000 ports where we can grow lettuce. Um, and we have it all pre-sold. So 
everything that we can grow as fast as we can grow it, it's sold in the, in the supermarkets, between Peter's Cornucopia and Hannaford's Market. Well, the guys love it because it keeps them busy, you know, keeps them out of trouble, that's, that's important. And it teaches them a job skill and, and a job ethic. Many of them don't know what it is to work a four hour day or a six hour day or even an eight hour day. So we get them ready here for the job market out there. So when they go out there, they'll be successful and they'll survive and not get themselves fired. <laughs> you know? So, uh, you know, there's uh, the other programs to take care of young guys like this is on a county jail. Certainly we don't want them in jail. We want to give them a, a break in life, okay? And, and we don't want the expense of housing in the jail, which can typically cost $60,000, $65,000 a year to house somebody there. We can do it for a fraction less than that. So it saves the taxpayers a lot of money. And I think it helps, uh, gives the, the young guys a sense of pride, a self of belonging, a sense of, uh, of self-worth. Um, and, and it gives them that jumping off point that perhaps other programs might not do for them. Do they come back to visit? Yes, they do. Almost all of them come back. Even the ones that we've asked to leave come back and say thank you. Yeah. So uh, yeah, they always come back. You can shop for John Bosco House Greens, Microgreens, Wheatgrass and Sprouts at Peter's Cornucopia, Hannaford Supermarkets, and find them on the menus at fine restaurants. You can also shop online at johnboscohouse.org. For lunch, we head from Lafayette Street a couple blocks over and about 100 years back in time to Bag Square West and Gerber's 1933 Tavern. After sitting vacant for over a quarter century, this former speakeasy was lovingly restored by Mark and Susan Mojave. The food served is made fresh daily and is similar to the tavern fare of the 1930s. This building dates back to the 1840s. Then for a while it operated as a speakeasy. It opened legitimately in 1933 and because of the building across the street, there's a pretty good chance that a very famous American ate here before he spoke next door at Mechanics Hall. Who am I talking about? Mark Twain. And it's just like it would have been when you walked in here a hundred years ago with the original tin ceiling and the uh, original lights. The floor is cherry and the bar is American chestnut. It is absolutely worth your time to come down here, see it all, and feel yourself step back into some of Utica's history. Next Thursday, December 5th at 6 p.m., you're invited to an 80th anniversary party celebrating the end of Prohibition at Gerber's. Be sure to dress the part in your best 1930s attire and join the celebration at Gerber's 1933 Tavern at 16 Liberty Street in Bag Square in Utica. To see what we can see Traveling round the Mohawk Valley Let's see Everybody seems to have a preference for applesauce. Some like it chunky, some like it really fine, some really sweet, some like it a little tartar. But I'll tell you what, a good applesauce all around is just mixed with many apples, sometimes two or three. Obviously, if you use one variety versus another, you're gonna get a different flavor, but also a different color. We have them that go from the palettes of a yellow green to a really deep chartreuse red. So, I would tell you just mix the, the apples, cook them down the way you like them, and really enjoy just the natural flavor. You don't really have to add anything to applesauce. I guess I'll challenge you to try this process at home. You can take your apple, cut it right in half, seeds and everything in it. After it's cooked, cooled, then you could take a spoon and scoop out the seeds and, and the cull inside. The skin just pops right off. Throw it in your bowl and you can mash it up like you always would. We follow up on our recent story about elderberry farmer Helmut Schmeichel in Ava with a fall visit to see some of his fall harvest. For some reason, the sugar pumpkins Helmut grows dwarf the typical 5 to 8 pound size of these vegetables grown for cooking. His pumpkins develop to well over 40 pounds, and he is looking someday to get a patent on his magic pumpkins.
In 1866, James B. Turnbull walked to farms and villages to visit his customers, earning their trust. Today, the fourth generation of Turnbulls continue that dedication, tailoring a life insurance plan to suit your unique needs and priorities. Turn to the company that is out there to earn your trust. Turn to Turnbull. Visit the Farmer's Museum this Friday and Saturday after Thanksgiving and experience Thanksgiving traditions of the 1840s. See food prepared over an open hearth, blacksmithing of kitchen utensils, and shop 19th century reproductions at Todd's General Store. This Friday and Saturday, 10 to 4, at the Farmer's Museum in Cooperstown. Make the Clinton Shoppers Stroll part of your family tradition. The village is decorated with thousands of white lights. Music and the aroma of roasting chestnuts fill the air as shopkeepers invite you in for holiday treats. The Clinton Shoppers Stroll, Friday and Saturday, November 29th and 30th. Visit Brenda's Natural Foods in their brand new, bigger location, right down the street at 236 West Dominic Street in Rome. Brenda's Natural Foods, something good and a lot of it. Hi, welcome to the Little Falls Antique Center in the shops at 25 West. We have two full floors with 50 vendors of interesting and unique products ranging from specialized to very eclectic, primitive to the not so primitive. Remember, shop local, we're worth the trip. Shop Shelter for handmade Adirondack furniture designed by craftsman Jim Kiefer. He works with you to create custom pieces to your specifications, from dining room and coffee tables to bookcases, beds, and bunks. Call or visit Shelter on Main Street in Old Forge. Store co-owners Linda and Joe McHarris invite you to shop the talented local artists at the Artisan's Corner. You'll discover one-of-a-kind handcrafted pottery, clothing, candles, jewelry, and original artwork, handmade from the heart of central New York at the Artisan's Corner in Clinton. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. Don't miss the 27th annual Quilts Unlimited exhibition at VIEW, featuring traditional and eclectic quilts and wall hangings from all over the United States. On display through January 5th at VIEW, open daily in Old Forge. Just a minute from downtown Sharon Springs, high above in an old Italian boarding house, is the home and business of former New York City artists Mike and Lisa Schuster. Their converted front porch is now a processing plant for their popular Moo Moo Moosley natural cereal. How did artists become cereal producers? They think it might have something to do with the rejuvenating spirit of Sharon Springs. We were living in the city and we were painters trying to make it as artists and we uh, adopted a dog and realized, let's see if this dog can have some clean fields to roam around in. And then next thing you know, we saw an ad for a, 100 acres for $99,000. We'd never been north of the George Washington Bridge. We thought that day we would try it. Five days later, we passed haphazardly or circumstantially, whatever, through Sharon Springs. Our hair rose on our arms and we were like, we're going to buy a place here. And we did within four days of seeing that ad. Lisa always being very, very you know, careful of what we eat, eating good food, and we decided not to have toasted cereals like granolas, which are over-sugared and over-processed. We decided to try mueslis. Mueslis on the shelf are just god-awful, really low-grade ingredients, so we made our own for about six or seven months, and we were gonna buy a solar hot water heater, and we decided, should we put seven grand into a hot water heater? And then we realized it's only six months of the year, you'll get use out of it, so let's invest it in mueslis. And Who it just, and that it, well, you need hot water, but using the sun and 7,000, we thought it's a better uh, investment to try. Even though everyone says don't do it, don't invest in a cereal company, you're nuts. It's better to do government bonds. But we went ahead and Lisa created the, uh, the ingredients and the combination, and it's just been uh, forward since. We wanted all the most delicious things. So we want to use dates and coconut, organically grown. Cranberries, usually when you get cranberries in the market or in any other cereals, it's always sweetened with sugar. Ours is sweetened with apple juice. I love roasted almonds and they're so good for you. Uh, we have flaxseed, organic raisins, just everything delicious that we could put in it, we did it. And then we just sort of uh, tried different combinations of things and this one worked out beautifully. So beautifully we only have one flavor because we think it's that good. Oh, it's exciting because people don't even realize that they can be eating such great food that tastes so delicious. So, I mean, that's the best part of all. When we give out our samples at different stores or at the farmer's market, and you see their face totally change when they, they taste it because they look at it and they think, oh, this looks like horse food or something. And they taste it and say, this is delicious. And it really changes their life. A lot of people 
really are appreciative that we've made something that can, can change their life. Moo Moo Moosley has award-winning taste, including one of the five most scrumptious cereals in the country by Vegetarian Times. It is available throughout the Northeast at local health food stores, like Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton. Just look for the cow in the Moo Moo dress. Just a half mile east of Route 10 on Route 20 is Turnpike Hobbies. Here you'll find items for all your hobby needs. RC cars, trucks, planes, helicopters, trains, slot cars, and plastic molds. And as soon as the ground firms up, there's an outdoor dirt oval track for racing your RC. Open Monday through Friday from 8 to 5. We head back down into the village and stop into the Beekman 1802 Mercantile. The shop is filled with artisanal goods handcrafted in and near Sharon Springs. We're greeted by shop co-owner Dr. Brent Ridge. He and his partner Josh Kilmer Purcell have branded the Sharon Springs Farmstead lifestyle with home, garden, beauty and gourmet food products. The couple became well known for their fabulous Beekman Boys television show and for winning the Amazing Race reality show a few months ago. They used the prize money to pay off their farm mortgage and are giving back with their latest product, Mortgage Lifter Heirloom Tomato Sauce. 25% of profits goes to help other small farms pay off their mortgages. There's no lunch break for Brent today. He has jars of sauce to pack for eager customers. We head across the street to the Black Cat Cafe. It's hard to believe that it was over seven years ago when we first discovered this place. It's good to be back, and Tony welcomes us with open arms. They're still serving up their fresh soups, salads, and sandwiches. During the long winter months in Sharon Springs, Tony welcomes the locals to the Black Cat Cafe Dinner Club in the recently renovated upstairs. Well, it's our eighth year, and what's amazing is you were here our first year, so it's so nice to see you back. Um, the cafe has grown. When you first came here, we seated about 25 people. Now we seat about 30 here, 30 outside. We're putting more tables in the front, and we have an upstairs you're going to see in a couple of minutes. And um, what's the upstairs for besides seating? Well, it's seating, and we also do events, and we also do something called a dinner club. Well, this, what came out of the dinner club was we really learned, we realized that we were doing something that had been done before, which were the supper clubs. And so I decided to do some research, and I wrote the story of what had originally happened and how what we were doing was quite similar. We have a bunch of people who get together on Saturday nights in the winter because there's nothing to do in upstate New York, as, as you all know, with the, with the snow. And um, we cook some wonderful food together. I tell them about it. And basically, I cook whatever the heck I feel like. And all these people are my friends. And we sort of cook together and eat together. And so I wrote the story. And people kept saying, well, you know, it's not like a cooking class. Where are the recipes? So I put them in the book. And that led to our latest cookbook called Black Cat Cafe's Dinner Club Cookbook. Well, there's one thing I want to tell you about the Black Cat, and we really believe in the best quality food. When, when my uh, ex-wife Vanessa and I started this place eight years ago, the idea was the best quality, the best ingredient, the freshest stuff, and we have no deep fried foods. I think we're the only restaurant that I know that has no french fries. Now, people get really upset, we'll make them really good hash browns. Um, the idea is good nutrition can be delicious. And we have all sorts of really healthy vegan stuff. We have gluten-free stuff. But we don't do it just so that it's vegan. We do it so it's yummy. Thanksgiving may be long gone, but here it is Thanksgiving every day because they have their Thanksgiving sandwich with the fresh turkey and the cranberries. It's here all the time, so you can enjoy Thanksgiving all the time. Tony also served me some mac and black, and the uh, cheese is right from down the street here, right? At right. the Beekman Farm, and I'm telling you, again, it's worth the drive all the way down here just for that. And of course, you can't forget that the Black Cat is famous throughout the Mohawk Valley for its desserts, 
As a matter of fact, if you get a shot of it, I think I put on two or three pounds just today. The Black Cat Cafe is now open seven days a week, including Easter Sunday. It is open Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 3, and weekends, 8 to 3. You can also shop online at blackcat-ny.com. Get your sled out on the trails. Call Turnbull Insurance and have a snow adventure tomorrow with complete snowmobile insurance protecting you and your sled. Call 735-9201 and get out on the trails. Next Saturday, enjoy the Hamilton College Jazz Ensemble Winter Concert, free at 7.30 p.m. at Wellen Hall. And next Sunday, the Hamilton College Choir performs Christmas Vespers at 4 p.m. at the Hamilton College Chapel in Clinton. Call Yannick Excavating for all your residential and commercial projects, from new construction and land clearing to septic systems, driveways, basements, ponds, and topsoil. Visit YannickExcavating.com. Do something about your chronic pain. InterX therapy can be the answer to your post-surgical or sports injury rehabilitation or chronic neuropathic pain. Call Dr. Michael Tucherone at 853-6225 for non-invasive InterX therapy. Celebrate the season at North Star Orchards with sweet cider, fresh baked pies, and cider donuts. Add some autumn color with decorative gourds, Indian corn, and corn stalks. Celebrate autumn at North Star Orchards in Westmoreland. The Village Crossing is full into fall. Your favorites have arrived, including comfortable cropped and tapestry jackets. Come in and they'll help you put it all together at the Village Crossing in Clinton. That special art, photograph, or memorabilia deserves a special frame. Oscars creates one-of-a-kind gold and silver leaf mirrors and frames. Oscars Picture Framing, 12 Kellogg Road, New Hartford. Have a tropical adventure and walk among hundreds of free-flying butterflies, tropical birds, plants, lizards, and frogs at the Pop Butterfly Conservatory. It's an unforgettable experience for all ages. Open seven days a week on Route 7 in Oneonta. Milan's Market is your holiday meat headquarters, featuring low-salt, low-fat smoked ham and store-made kielbasa. Try their famous crown roast of pork or prime rib, and be sure to pre-order your fresh seafood and shrimp platters. Milan's Market, at the Four Corners in Clark Mills. Tom's Natural Foods is your connection to local farms for natural and organic fruits and vegetables, meats, eggs, cheeses, and other milk products at Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton, naturally. Baby, can't you see no matter where you go, you never find another friend like me. Anytime, but you all alone and blue, please hurry home, won't you? We hope that you enjoyed today's show and be sure to pick up the December issue of Mohawk Valley Living. It is out this week and be sure to tune in next week. Between now and then, enjoy Mohawk Valley Living and have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. Young ones